So let's add some logic to say, you know, if the if the company is updated but the size of the company doesn't change, we don't want to send the email. So let's go here. Let's add if old company size is equal to the new company size. Then we're going to unbind it. Dot company growing. So they go minus equals company growth event handler. Send. So in testing this, I'm going to run it. I'm going to make a change to a company, but I'm not going to change the size of the company. And so what do, what do we expect is that it will still be written to the, to the application log file, but, it will, but the send email company, send company growing email will not be written to the database. Made a typo. We need to put in new here. Let's run it. So let's go check the application log. And we can see that it's still being written. Let's go check the database. And as expected, we did not see the send company growing email. In part three, we're going to talk about the stack and the heap and its relation to, to managed code. We're going to say, what is the stack and what is the heap? And what is the difference between the two? We're going to talk about the garbage collection process and using the C sharp keyword using and why I use it. The stack keeps track of what's going on in your program and it, and it executes the methods in a last in first out. And so the, mes the methods at the top of the stack or the values at the top of the stack have to be used before the methods which are underneath are, are processed. Value types are, are stored on the stack. Uh, variables like integer longs, characters, decimals, bools, basically anything that is derived from the system.value type library. The heap, on the other hand, there is no last in, first out, or first in, first out uh, process. It's just basically wherever it's decided that a, a variable and value are stored in, in memory, they just go to wherever that the memory address is. And whenever you want to access a value from, from, from the heap, you can do it, regardless of what's on top of it or what's below it. Reference types are stored in, in, the, in the heap, and those are things like classes, interfaces, delegates, and strings. Reference types are always stored in the heap. Value types are stored where they are declared. And so if you look at the left-hand side in the stack, you'll see that there is an integer named count. And because that was declared within a function and it's a value type, it is stored in the, in the stack. However, if you look in the, in the heap where we've declared that the cells lead class, because a class is a, is a reference type, and we declared that budget decimal within the class, the actual variable is stored on the heap. But there is a pointer which is stored on the stack that points to the value uh, of the budget in the cells lead class. The garbage collection process is, is focused on, on the heap. And so if you, if you think back to the stack uh, that we looked at on the previous slide. Whenever uh, a method is completed and it and it 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 removes that from the, from the stack, at the same time it could uh, remove the pointers to maybe a SQL com com a SQL command object that was uh, stored in the heap. 
Um, and so when whenever whenever classes or reference types are no longer pointed to from anywhere or are no longer needed, uh, the garbage collection uh, process will kick off and it will uh, deallocate or reallocate any memory and clean everything up uh, as you'll see as you see on the right hand side of the slide it'll remove the things that we no longer need from the heap uh, which is which is memory and make that memory available for any other processes that that we need in a managed code uh, environment and platform we don't need to worry about the heap because the garbage collection will be kicked off automatically whenever a certain threshold of memory usage has been, has been reached or breached. And so it's just a good idea to know and to understand what is what is going on. So perhaps you can uh, write your code a little more efficiently uh, to store store smaller pieces of information in memory so the garbage collection uh, process doesn't doesn't have to work so hard in in moving all the memory uh, addresses and pointers around. The reason I use the using keyword so much in my, in my code is because when the when when the end of the using statement is reached, the uh, the object's resources are released, and so I don't have to worry about closing a connection or or you know, destroying or disposing of any of the objects that I created within my using statement. It happens automatically, and when the garbage collection process kicks off. Uh, it, the memory can be can be reallocated, and it just relieves a lot of a lot of worries or any potential uh, memory leaks. In lesson four, we're going to view the call stack, autos, locals, and heap in debug mode. We're going to set a breakpoint in Visual Studio 2008. We're going to open the call stack, autos, and locals debug window. We're going to do a reference type and value type example. And we're going to do it pass by value and pass by reference example. Let's set a breakpoint. So first, let's go into our cells lead class, and let's change this m lead priority from private to public. And then let's open our company cells lead form in view code. Then let's scroll down. Let's uncomment this line and click here on the left-hand side, and you'll see a red dot. So whenever we run our program and we get to this point, this, this system will stop. Let's do it. And so what do we want to do is we want to go to Debug, Window, and click on call stack and this is our call stack as well we want to click debug window watch I'm sorry autos and then debug window locals and you see you have these tabs here so on the stack you can see which functions or which methods are currently in the stack and are going to be running in a first in and, sorry, in a last in first out method. On the in the autos window, the, the autos show variables in the current method scope plus three methods before. In the locals window, it shows variables in the current methods scope 